Okay, so if y'all stuck around for my previous video about Miami Vice, I was really feeling it. Like, I love Miami Vice, the episodes, and I love the TV series. And I was talking about the episode where uh, Al Bundy, Ed O'Neill, was in one episode. And just for people, I, I mean, you could go and check it out for yourselves. Like, it is what it is. But I didn't want y'all to think I was bullshitting. So, right here, right now, Heart of Darkness is the episode. Look who makes an appearance. Boys from Jersey. Richard. Artie Rollins. Sonny. Listen, I'm sorry about that little charade the other day. Can't be too careful. No problem. Come on, I got a booth in the back. The rack. I understand you've got a chain of theaters up north. <laughs> I tried to tell y'all. No cap. Bro, no cap. You would not believe the amount of stars that was on Miami Vice, but I just had to show some people that I wasn't bullshitting about Al Bundy. Ed O'Neill was in fact a drug dealer on Miami Vice. This is way before Married with Children. Like I said, and the funny part is you want him to do something funny because you know him for Al Bundy. You don't know him as the dramatic actor and he does have dramatic acting chops. I'll give you one more little second of it. Six theaters, 14 retail stores in Jersey, New York, and Massachusetts. But we're running a little short on solid programming. We're looking to buy volume. We're carrying cash. Jimmy told me. We'll grab a bite to eat. We'll talk business later. Sam. Sam. Sonny Richard. I'd like to meet Karen Carson and Rebecca Dolph. My one and only. Pleasure. And this is my boss, Sam Kovics. Sam. Boys. How are you? Come on, sit, let's see. You can see the same Al Bundy smile and laugh. And now this is serious. This is not a comedy. This is serious. But when you see that Al Bundy smile, that... <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, zoom in on that Al Bundy, the Al Bundy smile. <laughs> that is Al Bundy. Yes, that is Al Bundy. That is, that is the Al Bundy. We know him for Poke Eye, four touchdowns in one game. But yes, he was, in another world, a drug dealer on Miami Vice. I just had to show y'all that shit. That, that to me, is absolutely amazing. So y'all see, it was no cap. I'm serious. Go and check out Miami Vice for yourselves. You would not believe the stars that was in it. Over 400 stars over all the seasons. You need to go and check it out. It's almost like a Where's Waldo. Every episode has a star in it. Just go back and check it out. Like I said, this was before all the procedural cop shows that you guys have now. This was the forefront. This was the foundation so that you could have these shows. Go and check out Miami Vice.